All right, everybody, welcome to TSB repair number one for the Dodge Journey. This has to deal with the TSB, the technical service bulletin. You would get a squeak from your belt or it would be your idler pulley um, in the first, you know, 20 to 90 seconds of you starting the vehicle in cold weather. So this fixes that. First step is to remove the engine cover. To do this, lift up on all four corners It'll snap out of place and set it aside. Next, get a jack and a piece of wood, place it underneath the oil pan, and gently jack up the engine. Now we're going to remove the three bolts connecting the motor mount to the engine. And the two bolts holding the motor mount to the body of the vehicle. On the top of the motor mount is a ground wire. Use a flat screwdriver to pry that off the motor mount. And then remove the motor mount. There's your motor mount. Now here's a bracket that holds the motor mount to the engine. There's four bolts that hold this on. Loosen and remove the top two bolts. And then loosen the two bottom bolts. And remove this bracket. Right underneath that is gonna be the idler pulley. This is the part that we're going to be removing. While lifting up the belt, loosen the bolt that's holding the idler pulley on and remove the idler pulley. finally got the bearing off and this bolt is way too long it has been over engineered so we're going to actually cut off about two threads they're unnecessary and we don't need them so we need to pull the bolt out and then go get a nut to put on here we can cut that off and then remove the nut to rethread it to get this bolt out there's this little nut here it's like a like a pressure nut and we just need to undo that. I just have a flat screwdriver that I'm gonna pry that off with. There we go. Just need to unscrew that. All right. You can see this part of the bolt goes into the bearing and that's what holds it in place because if it was like this, it would just go like that. So that keeps that in place. This keeps the bolt in place and we just need to flatten that, shorten this, and we can reinstall it. All right, I'll take this off like it was supposed to be like that. We'll thread this on all the way down to the bearing. So we've got the bearing put back together with the, the, the replacement bearing. This is the old one. The, the idler pulley essentially is what it is. Uh, that's why we're replacing it. So we're replacing it because it has a squeak in cold weather and it is a technical service bulletin. So we know that that's the problem. So here's the new one, the bolts in and 13 millimeter, we'll put that back in. Now that we've shortened the bolt, it should be easy. Let's find out. Let's thread it in there. Get that belt back on it. <clears throat> Luckily this belt doesn't have a lot of tension on it, so you can just lift it with your hand. There we go, belt's back on. Start the bolt with your hands. You don't want to start it with a tool because you could cross thread it. Make sure you take the tension off of it while you're starting it. Then tighten it up with your 13 mil. So the first step of putting it back together is gonna to be this piece here. This is gonna go in. Remember to keep these two bottom bolts in. Line it up there and then start them with your hand. So the motor mount bracket is in. Now we just have the actual 
rubber mount. So we'll take this wire that we unhooked from the top of this and we'll slide this in. So we put these two bolts in and then these three bolts, reattach the wire, and now we're working on the two motor mount bolts that connect it to the frame of the vehicle. Again, these are way too long. One last step is gonna be starting it up, finding out if that worked. squeak I don't think it's cold enough to squeak but all right technical service bulletin number one is done the idler pulley it wasn't that difficult it was kind of uh, time-consuming just because of the all the steps needed all in all it took like 30 40 minutes as long as you have the right parts the right tools you should be able to do it in about that amount of time maybe an hour I want to thank you guys for watching thank you for liking the video thanks for commenting down below and thank you for subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one